we're going to use an AIRX mat to be able to generate some force and use a resistance that is variable with speed. The faster I move it, the more force will be I'll be uh, generating. But the angle of the diagonal from where we take this SWAT, if you will, is going to affect things. If I want to load this posterior hip and the posterior chain, I'm going to come here and drive upward. The, if I start from high here, I'm still going to load, get load in this hip because I'm internally rotated, but now it's going to be more loaded through the, the anterior core as I drive down. We've got two other options. If I start here, I've got some, some hip because I'm bent over, but now as I come uphill, it anchors more out of my rear leg as I use the posterior chain. If I want to use the rear leg, front side of the rear leg, and up into the balance from here, I go to the high corner and come down because the concentric motion is going to be generated when I'm moving it. Doing the diagonals in both directions just rhythmically certainly covers your bases, but have some intent to where you pre-position and how you're generating force. Good luck.